An efficient way of paying your suppliers is by using Twinfield's Pay and Collect module. In order to get into the Pay and Collect module, um, all we have to do is go into our uh, grey menu, select Cash and Banks, and in order to set up a new payment type, we would go into the Types. Once in, um, we will have to input a new uh, payment type code. It can be, um, for example, your bank's name, so HSBC or Barclays. Um, I will simply input supplier as a code and click next to add settings. Um, you will see that uh, you are prompted to enter the name so let's say supplier payment, same for the short name, and then we choose our uh, payment file. If you double click on this uh, field, it will bring up um, all of the available uh, payment files. Uh, the payment file um, that we choose depends on the country as well as the bank uh, we are using. Uh, for me, that would be BaxGB. And then click Next. In the settings area, <clears throat> we have um, our payment method. We have um, we have option to include provisional transactions. Uh, we have option to um, delete um, bank uh, transaction type and report. The transaction type and report was automatically populated for us. <coughs> um, so let's concentrate just on our first um, three properties. So under the payment method, um, we have some values. We have detail, we have group and group and offset. So if you leave it set to the default detail, each invoice would be a separate um, box payment. If we choose group, Group will include all of our invoices together and uh, give us one payment total. Uh, group and offset uh, will include uh, credit notes. So I always tend to choose group and offset. <coughs> um, I would also select um, to include provisional transactions unless um, you always have them finalized and that's all right. <clears throat> the delete option is crucial to pay and collect and I would recommend that under the prompt and under the value uh, we make sure that these are ticked. Uh, we can default our bank but you can also choose to prompt uh, so that if you need to switch to another bank account then you can do so. Uh, but I'm going to link mine. Uh, if I double click again on this field, I can choose the bank account. So I will choose the default bank. <clears throat> if you wish to send um, your remittance uh, advices electronically, uh, just click on the uh, box next to use. Uh, select the template and input uh, your email in the box next to reply to. So that would be <coughs> we would then go into the um, dimension dimension section. And um, in general, uh, ledger field, I want to use 
my nominal code for my bank transfers. So if I just type in the nominal code and if you have um, a star in the uh, customer supplier or cost center uh, field, simply remove it <clears throat> and click save. All right. <laughs> So I cannot use this bank account, but the Barclays worked, yeah. Uh, now that the payment type is set up, um, you can go into your accounts payable and edit the relevant supplier settings so that those suppliers are included in your uh, payment run. So we would go into um, financial professionals, dimensions, accounts payable, um, then choose a supplier. So let's say supplier one, <coughs> go to the bank section. All right. So this supplier was already set, but as you can see, you can choose any other available payment types. Um, so mine was supplier payment, if I'm correct. Um, we would have to then input uh, account holder, account number, and sort code, um, because um, the fields with the star are mandatory. And in the remittance advice section, um, if we would like to um, send the remittance advice to the supplier automatically, um, we would um, input their email address and then uh, change the send type to by email because this will ensure that it's actually going to be sent to our supplier. If we, we can also choose to uh, send it to the file manager and to review the remittance advice beforehand. But in this case, if um, the remittance advice is going to be sent to the file manager. We will have to send it ourselves to the relevant supplier. So once we are happy with everything, we would just save. 